use this as a precondition. So let's say if we do this um, and we say when all members leave and we want another trigger that goes off. And let's say, for instance, um, I and my wife decide to go uh, to the movies and but we wanted to, we were going at, you know, five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we want to make sure that the, um, and we won't be back until midnight. We want to make sure that the lights are turned off at sunset, but not before, or that the lights are turned on at sunset because we have dogs and maybe we want to have them have dogs or, you know, dogs have some light when we're not around. But in any case, so we could trigger uh, a time and say that at sunset, uh, so we want to trigger the light uh, today uh, at, at sunset. Um, we can do that. So we can use one uh, piece as a precondition for another in the routine. So let's say that the time, again, we, we talked about in the last, uh, last video about time. You can do it at sunrise. Let's say that you want your, and we talked about uh, how a light could be turned on at sunrise um, for, uh, you know, at several minutes after sunrise so that it will have those lights on when you get up, you know, to go have your coffee. Now, you might, again, you might ask, how does it know when sunrise is in where I'm living? And the answer is that because of the cloud, a cloud uh, enabled uh, activity, it's a cloud enabled um, hub, it talks to the cloud. It also goes out and checks based on your location. And that's why it's important to put your, your, your uh, home in and your location, your specific location, it will be able to, to calculate the exact time that sunrise and sunset occur in your location for your home. So it's very important that you set up the home in this uh, and, and do that, right? So, um, so we could say, you know, at uh, sunrise um, and will say, uh, I don't want to turn it on on the weekends because uh, I sleep late. So, but let's say I want to have it um, 15 minutes after sunrise and I say done. Uh, so that's my, that's my, uh, my uh, if statement. If it's 15 minutes after sunrise on weekdays, then do this, right? So now we can control devices. Uh, we can change uh, the locations mode. We can change the locations mode. We can run other routines. Uh, we can notify someone. As you can see, we can send notifications uh, to members, right? And we can send to uh, specific members, right? So uh, we'll cancel this and cut that out. But we can send it to specific members um, uh, with that. Uh, and again, as you can see, we can also attach a, a photo from a camera. Um, so we can notify someone, we can control the devices. Uh, maybe what we want to do is we want to, um, uh, we want to uh, uh, go into the living room and we want to turn this living room light on, right? So we can turn the living room light on. Uh, we can also turn it off after, you know, after you know, this many hours and this many seconds. Uh, so we can turn off the, 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 the light after that, right? And each of, these, each of these devices have their own set of parameters that you can set, right? So as you saw with the, with the presence sensor, it has, you know, how often does it check the presence? In the living room light, a present that, that how long, how often you would check the presence, doesn't make much sense, right? It's not a parameter that you would have. Uh, with the living room light, though, you have turn on, turn off, turn on and off, uh, turn on or off. 
So also we have uh, delay this action. We can delay uh, when we want to, want that to happen. So uh, when we um, we can we can uh, uh, change this locations mode uh, to away uh, based on either time or when uh, say someone leaves the home, right? So uh, in other words, when so if we did. Uh, member location and when uh, when all members leave and then we uh, we want to uh, set uh, change this locations mode to away then that may that changing that mode to away may change other may kick off other routines right so from a from a security perspective uh, um, perspective, if you set your smart things into a way mode, then you're basically telling it uh, if you if someone comes in that while it's away and you're not there, uh, then maybe notify someone, call the police, um, set off a siren. There are sirens you can also have. Um, uh, I think one 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 uh, smart things thing I, I I found and I can't remember where I found this. Some, it wasn't on Amazon. I don't think. Anyway, it was a it was a, a recording of a dog barking. Obviously, as you can hear in the background, I don't need a recording of a dog barking. Anyway, I digress. But yeah, you can. So there's a lot of different uh, options um, on these routines and how you uh, would uh, set them up. And there's, again, when we look at, um, you know, how uh, this is, uh, uh, the, the options that are in here, um, you can see, uh, get your location from this home. Uh, so, um, and then the one thing that you're going to, that we're going to go through in the next video is going to be the advanced features and the linked services, because we're going to link some services. The Google and Amazon are going to be linked in linked services so that uh, we can get the get the uh, the voice uh, set up for that. So um, I think we've uh, we've gone through quite a bit today, and I want you to uh, to you know take down any any questions you have, and please comment in the comments section. Let us know if there's something in specific that you want to see. Uh, you want to have, there's some um, particular kind of routine that you want to have set up or you have a particular kind of uh, technology that you're interested in, comment below because we are always glad to, uh, to help seniors learn more technology uh, and make their lives better through that technology. So I think setting up you know, routines in smart things is a lot of fun and I enjoy automation. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel and, you know, leave us, leave us feedback. That, that's the biggest thing is leave us feedback in the comment section because we really want to know uh, if this is being helpful to you and whether or not we can do additional uh, senior related technology videos that would help you get comfortable with the technology that you want to use. Um, I think that every one of us over a certain age, over 50, 55, should have a YouTube channel. And that's my personal opinion on it. But uh, you know, and you may not think so. You may just want to watch YouTube, but I think everyone has something to share and, and you do too. You probably have a lot to share. I know I do. Um, I'm going to be sharing a lot over the next few years uh, on, on YouTube. So please uh, subscribe and help this channel grow. Uh, if you'll stay tuned, uh, there's going to be a bonus uh, piece at the end of this showing me turning the lights on and off in the room and attempting to start the fan. Don't, don't hold it against me. It's, demos never work right. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the, for the bonus.
Hi there, I'm back and I wanted to show you exactly how uh, we use uh, the voice automation. And I'll switch over to uh, the wide shot of uh, the bedroom. And I'll say Alexa, bed off. And as you can see, it got dark in here. So let's turn it back on. Alexa, bed on. And as you can see, the lights came back on, which is always nice because usually demos don't go this well. So um, the other part that uh, you will uh, probably like to see is the fan coming on. So let's do that. Alexa, fan on. Alexa, fan on. Alexa, fan on. Well, like I said, um, demos don't always go like you expect them to.